camera check hey guys how's it going welcome back to my youtube channel uh some of you is probably curious what's going on about me um what's happening and what's going on how come i'm not vlogging anymore i've been very quiet on social media on and off for a while um so anyway guys i'm gonna tell you what happened and what's going on in my life as a moment <laughs> anyway it is now what's today's date um the the 10th of march is it march today yeah it's already march can you believe it guys time flies fast huh so anyway guys um last december last year i was i went i went to the philippines um I was on vacation um, I when was my flight I was I flew on and last year that was uh, that was December um, 28 was it 28 yeah it, it was December 28 and then I arrived in the Philippines on December 30th then I was I was there for almost two months so <clears throat> when I was there um, I was just really busy spending time with my family can you believe it I was it's been it's been six years since um, I visited Philippines I was it was a long years and I haven't seen my mom for that uh, for that many years so I was just spending my time busy most most of the time uh, I stay in the house um, again spending time with my mom mostly um, <clears throat> I have a huge family back home yeah I was just so happy to be back um, to be the breadwinner the fa in the family you know um, I was the one who's providing everything to my family back home so uh, the six years I was here in the United States I've been working so hard um, so I can provide a good you know a good life to my family back home so that six years I was here in the United States not seeing my mom <clears throat> for those of you probably curious about how come because some some of my friends or some some of you knows that my parents is here in the United States but some of you wondering my parents is in the Philippines so to make the long story short I am blessed with two parents one here in the United States and in the Philippines so anyway um, my biological father um, died last year and I wasn't able to see him um, during his funeral because I was the one who's you know uh, financing everything um, I wasn't able to see him then um, <clears throat> my mom uh, in the Philippines she's been getting sick on and off so when my father passed away I have so much realization um, you know I, I'm so eager to see my mom and that's why I went to the Philippines that's what exactly happened I want to make sure that you know I wanted to spend more time with mom because you know we don't know what's gonna happen you know life is short and <clears throat> yeah and for the whole two months <laughs> literally I'm just uh, home well I get to see uh, I get to see some of my friends I only see I think I only spend um, I think I, I have only spent time with two, uh, three friends in the Philippines the one closest in my family and that's it um most likely i'm with my um <clears throat> family you know my cousins my sister my brother many few my nieces so yeah the vacation was fun um i just have to be back here because again <laughs> um i didn't have a good I, I didn't really have a good life in the philippines you know we are not rich we're just literally like you know like living to paycheck to paycheck you know um, as a provider in the family <clears throat> I can't stay there that long because although I wanted to 
but I have to come back here now in the United States to work and so I can provide all their needs back home but um, yeah it was so much fun there and now I'm just happy to be back here again in the United States I miss working um, <clears throat> I just started working on March the 2nd yeah and this, this, this is now my third day working fresh and uh, guess what new year new Mac new truck <laughs> so now guys I got um I got the I got the new Mac 2023 so when I was in the Philippines um, I asked my boss like you know I've been getting for almost two months right and I'm just so happy that I have a good company Midwest Freight Express a good boss a good dispatch when I ask my boss if I can go home to the Philippines that long, he is okay with it. And look, I still have a job in a return. Not all company was is able to give you that much of um, off, like almost two months and then able to come back again. So I was just happy that I'm back and they let me still come back with a new truck. So yeah, if you're curious about it, I know. Uh, some of you will say is that a new truck so now I'm gonna show you I'm gonna give you guys a little tour um, I'm not totally <clears throat> done yet oh my god guys <laughs> I can't breathe I gained so much weight when I was in the Philippines because you know like no diet not working there um, it's like always eating food my mom used to cook a lot of food so <clears throat> yeah we eat there like more than three times a day so yeah I needed to walk more and get exercised more so that yeah my breathing is is a little bit heavy right now plus I just eat anyway so I'm still okay <laughs> anyway yeah so what else I'm gonna say yeah uh, later on on this uh, the end of this video I'm gonna give you guys uh, a little tour here in the truck and show you guys what's in here what's in what's what's right here um, there and there <laughs> so I don't know what else I'm gonna say so um, yeah when um, let's talk about Philippines um, so when I arrived there in the, uh, when I arrived in the Philippines I get a warm welcome with my family with foods you know a good thing about in the Philippines guys is even if you're poor um, no matter what there is there is always food on the table no matter what New Year's uh, any special occasion uh, Christmas New Year birthday anything like that even if even if you're poor we always prepare food well whatever you can afford you know what I mean so it's part of in tradition in the Philippine tradition that whenever someone go home or um, you know like me it's been a long time that I, I wasn't home so they give me a warm welcome like with foods a lot of food the the food that I really missed it was it was so good and it was a little bit emotional because uh, my mom doesn't know that um, well my mom knows I'm going home but uh, we made a little bit story that I wasn't able to get through the immigration and that I have to come back to the United States So my brother told her that oh Jake is not is, is not going. It's not coming here anymore <laughs> and then uh, uh, You know when she see me She was it was a little bit emotional because again she haven't seen me for more than six years so it was fun and the new year is so much fun there you know our neighbors we celebrate all together um, having the fireworks the food it was just so much fun it's way different compared here in the United States unless I'm not saying it's boring here when it's <clears throat> new year or Christmas it's just it's just that it's different there in the Philippines because we have lots of neighbors you know and then coming back here in the United States was so emotional it's hard leaving your family especially my mom um, I get so emotional and we, I was crying and she's crying really hard because you know I don't know when I can when I can come back again to the Philippines but I promise to mom that every year I'm gonna visit here 
I'm gonna visit them I'm gonna visit her there in the Philippines so I'm gonna work so hard here so that I can see her yearly you know so that's my promise to mom but you know time flies fast right so I'm gonna be seeing her again this year hopefully if we make good money in trucking I'm gonna see her again and I'm gonna go I'm gonna try my best to you know spend time more with her um, what is it I'm gonna say yeah <clears throat> so that's it I really don't know what to say guys um, you know when you when you are off a little bit uh, from social media sometimes you don't know what to say I'm just trying to document everything what I you know what I've been doing in the Philippines I'm gonna show you some videos here you know um, what else well anyway uh, enough talking I'm gonna show you guys now my truck <laughs> give you guys a tour so okay guys uh, I got a little sore because I was working out this morning okay guys from here we're gonna start um, here in the front okay so here's the front here's the wheels um, my truck is automatic I don't have I don't have I don't have like a button where you can switch to driving you know like reverse because the, the last truck that I have used to have like an, on here uh, you used to like uh, have the, the, the thing to like if you want to drive it's right here on the wheel but it's not here so when I switch the if I want to drive there's the button right here you just uh, press it or push it when you want to drive and reverse and neutral so right here this is where you're gonna have if you if you want to use the engine brake is right here there's like high and low medium so I'm gonna turn this on guys for you guys <clears throat> okay yeah I actually like the dash um, it shows the the speed um, when someone's driving in front of you it shows the the vehicle in front of you was the speed of the uh, vehicle in front of you and uh, I just like it guys so much you know it's this is like a little bit like smaller but but it's I like it it's nice <clears throat> this is the control um, button right here for your headlights low beam lights the hazard is right here um, and right here this is all the lights that you have like if you want to switch switch it on here in the cab that's right there sleeper yeah let's switch it on and there's another one right here yeah okay and here is the little cabinets here there's a lot of cabinets small cabinets here yeah that the speaker um, what else I, I have the truck GPS the old one that I have that I've been using for many years but this one is is what is it it's been having a problem so I don't think I I'll be able to use that for a long time so I needed a new GPS and this one has been having a problem too so I needed my I needed a new truck GPS but for now I can use that I gotta work hard to make money so I can buy that <laughs> so here I get the weights I get the, the dumbbells right there if I want to work out I still got my coffee mug right here um, this um, huh. so right here in the back in my sleeper I'm gonna show it to you guys Here's my microwave. 
as for now guys um, I don't have an inverter yet so I cannot use my microwave but this is this is this right here is for the microwave um, <clears throat> Right here is my small table, another cabinet, and here's the fridge. Small fridge, but I like it. Um, here is another bed. If I have a team driver, he can sleep here, or that person can sleep here. Here in the cab, guys, is a little bit smaller compared to my old truck. The other truck that I have, the tracks that I've been driving, um, those are bigger than this one it's small but i like it i want to be minimalist this time so i only i only have two pillows here in the cab okay hold on guys i'm gonna turn them i'm gonna turn it on for you so to really give us a good light in here in the cab so yeah that's my bed i only got two pillows two blankets i got another extra here just in case it gets really cold here inside and uh, right here is my jackets thick jackets when it gets cold I can use that um, it's got a mirror here where you can see myself um, some packets where I can put stuff here like paperwork and stuff like that and right here charger some clothes um, yeah so down here guys is my air fryer so for now this is here and right here okay right there is my groceries it's where I put my groceries in there <clears throat> so again this is little small because it's Mac. I'm not sure. Um, I'm not sure if all Mac's trucks are smaller, but I just I have nothing to complain about. I really like it. All this small. Um, so right here, the uh, underneath here is my clothes. Um, I can store some clothes right here too. See that? I'm not going to show you everything right now because that's not really organized just yet. But those uh, holes right there, those are my clothes. Okay. Yeah. So what do you think, guys? Do you think you're going to like the, the Mac 2023? For me, if you were to ask me, I like it. Um, yeah. It's pretty cute, right? It's really really cute and I don't have a lot of stuff this time. I didn't I didn't bring my 30 clothes pair in my truck because I don't want to keep that here. I don't want to get it too tight. So this time I'm just going to be minimalist. I only have like um, 15 pairs of clothes. So right here Got my water, bananas. Uh, I'm gonna show you guys outside. Just give me a sec. I'm gonna put my shoes on, so I'm gonna show you the outside. Uh, so today, guys, is the tent. Uh, it is now 3 p.m. Um, I didn't have any load yet yesterday. Um, um it's been my three days working already and right now it's gonna be my fourth day but i'm stuck here in uh petro glendale kentucky i didn't have any load yet i think it's because the freight is kind of slow this time which understandable so i'll just wait until i have okay so let's go out and show you my truck this right here so this is the new Mac 2023 yeah what do you think about it guys is it nice I actually like it guys so much I really really like it and I think I'm gonna be comfortable 
with this truck for a long time because the fact that the truck is new does it uh, that means that I don't have to worry so much about the engine part because last time my truck wasn't that new and it's it's got a problem um, on the engine part and uh, you know I have to take that to the shop for a few times and now I don't have to, I don't have to worry so much because it's a new truck um, what is it Oh, I'm even more worried. <laughs> so anyway, yeah, it's got a little bit sticker here, Midwest Freight. So, anyway, some of you asked me if my company is hiring, if we do have a direct hire from the Philippines to here. Again, I've been seeing these guys before. We do not um, <clears throat> we do not hire uh, drivers from the Philippines to here. Uh, we only hire uh, people or you know drivers that are from the United States. And you gotta be an American citizen. You gotta be a green card holder for you to be able to work here. And um, my company Midwest Freight Express is always hiring, but we only hire good drivers here. If you are a badass driver, if you are a psychopathic driver, you don't belong here. They only hire good drivers here in the, in, in my company. So, <clears throat> so there you go, guys. So I hope that you enjoy this video. I hope that you enjoy my truck. I hope that you like it. Um, Cause me, I like my truck. What do you think about it, guys? You think? Again, <laughs> I've been seeing this. You think you're gonna like it? If you like it, guys, please give me um, a comment or a thumbs up if you like this video. And uh, if you have something to say, comment down below in this video. And um, this time, I'm gonna be active again um, on my YouTube channel because I know um, I wasn't active for a long time. So I'm going to be uploading more videos for you guys and I hope that you'll continue to support me uh, on my YouTube channel. So here we go. So I hope to see you next time again. Bye.